Am I the asshole for not leaving with my newborn twins and toddler while my sister had a meeting? I, 23 female, have a two-year-old son and two-month-old twins. I'm a stay-at-home mom and my sister, 25 female, who is in grad school, has been staying with us while her apartment building gets fumigated. She had a meeting with one of her professors to talk about some stuff regarding a project and set her laptop up in the kitchen. It's worth noting that the kitchen is right off the children's play area slash bedroom, and she also has a bedroom all to herself that has a desk and the Wi-Fi is decent in it. About five minutes into her meeting, my two-year-old, who was playing with his toy trucks, got hurt and started crying. He wasn't even having a tantrum, just crying because he got hurt. After a few minutes, my sister excuses herself from her meeting for a moment and yells at me to take the kids out of the house and that she needs total silence. I told her I wasn't going to take my three small children out by myself with no stroller, which was unfortunately left in the car my husband took that morning. She has been telling me all week that I ruined her meeting and I need to get my children under control. My parents agree that I was being unreasonable. Am I the asshole? Hmm. No. This is her house. I know. I feel like that's, I knew that's what you were going to say. And I feel like anytime you're on a meeting, not you, but like you in general. Yeah. Um, anytime you're on a meeting, it just seems like if anything goes wrong or if there's like one noise in the background or if the internet cuts out for one second, it glitches. It feels like, oh my God, the world is ending. Yeah, even you though, just like snap. Even though at this point, it's like we've all been on Zoom. We've all been doing it for a while now. Shit happens. We've been on meetings with people and kids will run in and the best response aren't the people that go, Oh, get out like get out of here. Be quiet. It's I need a minute. No, it's the people yeah, it's the people who come in are like Oh hi. Yeah, and they're like, come say hi. And then they pop in and we're like, what's up? And the kid gets all pumped. Like that's when it's just fun and organic. And then there's the people that react heavily. But when you're in it though, sometimes and you like think about some kid crying in the background when you're having an important meeting, you're like, oh fuck. Like Yeah, it's not ideal. It, and you're just you're just thinking like, oh, it's gone, it's ruined, it's done. When in reality, I think we all understand that life happens and we're all here kind of just we're, doing what we have to do. We're human. Like this is life. And I think Zoom like has put a lot of people kind of like in vulnerable situations because like whatever their house looks like, their family is there now. So it's, it is really hard having these meetings and stuff like virtually, but we are all human. Like like you said, these meetings happen all the time. Like there's been people on CNN, like anchors or whoever, where their little toddler sneaks yeah. in and is like behind them. And it's It not, shows you a lot how they react to it. It's not a big deal yeah. at all. Also, like this girl's 25, like she's in grad school, so she's probably trying to save money, but like- Find somewhere else. Find somewhere else. If it's that important of a meeting, you can find a quiet place to go. Go in your room that you have Wi-Fi and a desk in. It's an easy, it seems like an easy fix versus being in a, in the kitchen. That's a common area. Yeah. Or go to office things that are at the school. Yeah. If, if it's, it's that important and you need it dead silent, maybe don't take it at the house where there's three kids that are young. Yeah. And for her to be like, oh, you need to get your kids under control. Uh, they're two and two months. That sounds pretty impossible. Yeah. Little homie just got hurt playing with his trucks. Yeah. How are you going to prevent that? You oh, can't. you're not going to play with anything. Well, then they're going to cry too because they're yeah. bored as shit. Also to be like, uh, you need to take your kids in a stroller and leave. Do you know how long it takes to get one child ready to Yeah, how to about go you go take your meeting outside? Solid, solid suggestion. Yeah. Like, dude. Edit. She goes, this is my home with my husband and my children. My husband and I were very lucky to buy a home before the pandemic while I was pregnant with our oldest son. My parents did not and do not fund any part of our lives. They do, however, fund my sister's life. So if she gets in trouble in grad school, it affects them as much as her. But this is my home. Yeah. Yeah. Not Who cares? The, not the asshole at all. I think your sister needs to be more in touch with reality and realize that, hey, life happens. Like, I doubt her professor batted an eye. I know mine would not have. My grad school professor's would have been like, oh my gosh, little cutie. 
And then I would have excused myself like a person with common sense. Yeah. And like I've gone through crate like the Wi-Fi at my house sucks. It takes like an hour to upload one podcast episode. I've gone through hell with meetings and the people are so understanding. They're just like, no big deal. We get it. Not- it's all it's all in the reaction. It's life. It's yeah. life. So top comment on this one. If she is unhappy with your children behaving like children in their home, she can stay at a hotel with your parents or with her friends, not the asshole. You can't set up shop in a living space and then be upset when your children who live there behave as children. Yeah, and the parents are probably rented for her too. <laughs> yeah. Just stay with a friend. Like, I don't know. It's not that hard Like, if you're unhappy with your situation. Also, like, how long is she staying there? Because fumigation. Yeah, fumigation takes a little bit. Like, I know once they fumigate, you have to stay out for like a full 24 hours yeah. typically. Yeah. But. Not too long. Not that long. So, like, go home. Just chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Another comment. Yep, not the asshole. It's completely unreasonable for the sister to stay over in a house with kids and expect total silence. She has a hell of a nerve trying to kick OP out of the house for the whole day instead of moving outside or even to her bedroom herself. Yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah everyone's popping off. Yeah, I can't believe she snapped at OP when OP is doing her a favor, letting her stay there while her apartment is being fumigated. Yeah, it's not easy to have guests. It is it not. It really isn't. No. Especially it's, when you have kids. No. It's, it's hard. You're, you're entertaining. You're, you're a host. You're a host. You're accommodating. Like, not the asshole. Mm-mm. No. 